Uh, part of your scope is also to ensure second, a second life for our batteries. What does that really mean uh, and what value does it create? Well, as you know, within the Volvo Group, we take a holistic and circular approach to electrification in general, and that also goes for the batteries. So whilst the batteries are on board our vehicles, we refer to that as first life. We will monitor them and optimize them, and Lars and other colleagues will come back to that later. But having done a great service for our vehicles, be it trucks or yellow machines or others, for a number of years, sooner or later the batteries will come out. And we are monitoring them. That means that we have the data for each of the battery having served each Volvo Group vehicle. And that means that we know when to take them out. And we also know what would be the best second life application for those batteries. And that means, of course, that we can select a route for each battery that creates a really long customer relation, maybe up to another 10 years or so. And that in turn means that we can have a greater asset value coming out of that battery, which is a win for the planet, it's a win for our environment, it's a win for our customer, and it's also a win for the Volvo Group, of course. And if we take a step back and look at one of the main possibilities with Second Life batteries, it is a battery storage system. What can you sort of see if you look around the corner? <laughs> well, this chart tries to look long around the corner, and I would say there are two main messages coming out. The first one is that the market, the projected market, I should say, for battery energy storage really is a growing market, and we can see a very impressive forecasted compounded annual growth rate here of 34%. So this is a rapidly growing market on one hand. So that's one message. And the second message is that the reason it's growing so quickly is that these storage systems can be used in so many different kinds of applications. It can be industrial, it can be commercial, it can be residential, it's in a cell phone tower, it's helping to stabilize the, the grid, it's EV charging for cars. There's so many different kinds of applications. So the true beauty here, of course, is that we are leaning in to help to create this. And that's also why we last week announced the investment into a UK-based uh, Second uh, Life specialized storage uh, company uh, to further accelerate our efforts in this area. Mm. And here, obviously, with the assets that we are sitting on, battery storage, uh, hydrogen production, etc., we can gradually build it out. Then we have been clear about one thing. We should not utilize the, the possible roadblocks in other parts of not doing our part. But then we should try to actually participate on how can we be clear about our transformation together with our customers to support others to do their part because some of the big investments need also visibility. What are the technologies to be used?